So here we are. I'm super pumped. We're at Tiki Tatsuya in Austin on South Lamar. We're gonna go say hi, see if we can get in. I don't know if there's like a secret knock or something. Hey, welcome to Tiki Tatsuya. So yeah, we're in the cave. Obviously all these like cave formations and this guy. Yeah, this guy right here is pretty cool. I mean, we have this huge atrium. It was a, a project getting it in here for sure. This is a 30 foot shisha dog that goes all the way up into the upstairs. There's uh, projections on it when we're on. And oh, so there's like a whole show attached to this guy here. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Wow. You definitely get your own experiences at the different tables that we have. I mean, there's a lot of like old Japanese kind of decor stuff too that we mixed with the tiki stuff. It took about three, four years to get. Um, to curate all this? To curate everything, yeah, wow. yeah. This is the the rum that is stored in this cave. Is that, is that yeah, the yeah. Stuff? Yeah, very cool. Right now we've got about 230 rums on the back bar. It's obvious when you step in here and I mean, just look around for just a second that like the level of detail and thought that has gone into this is outrageous. Oh yeah, I mean, totally, here. definitely some overlap, but very distinctive feel in here. When we're in service, it looks like an afternoon, basically. Um, it's pretty cool. We've got a little more Japanese elements, like in this fugu hut here, you can see, like we got the bamboo, we got the fugu, but we got the shibori patterns. Well, man, I'm like literally licking my lips at the rum selection <laughs> here. So yeah, we don't have a lot of space here at Tiki. We're kind of running as a submarine operation, basically. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, this is all of our prep area. Um, we've got obviously a, a big crushed ice machine that um, we run most of our tiki drinks with. So we don't do a lot of like prep prep here unless we're like on the fly doing it. Mint, we go through about five pounds of thick mint a day um, at least, depending. Sometimes on the weekends we go through about 10. So our wells are set up a specific way to where you can kind of make the drinks like without moving your arm too much around and not as many touches. So a normal tiki drink is going to be eight, eight to 10 touches. We're trying to minimize that doing three to six touches. But to do that, we have to do a lot of batching. We've got about 50 gallons worth of batch that we go through. We have to refill this twice a week. We just pour once and call it a day on all of our like main cocktails. We don't want to stray too far from like uh, classic tiki drinks by any means. We, we just want to make them as good as possible. I see some garnish stuff happening. Like y'all definitely do some garnish work back here. Yeah, you there's know. a lot going on. I mean, they're during the shift, they're corn out pineapples, like juice limes to order, that kind of thing. But off the top of my head, we probably have about 50 different rums that are in this. Just trying to fit more stuff and do more things is, is difficult, but it's kind of fun, like figuring out that challenge. I would love if you would whip up a drink that you thought this is Tiki Tatsuya in in a mug. Yeah, for sure. Cool. I think, yeah, let's make a Trader Vic style Mai Tai. Uh, we do use fresh lime juice um, for this drink. So squeezing it fresh. It's uh, kind of traditional anyways in the Trader Vic style to be using the uh, lime hole. So we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. But we do use like about a half um, a lime full of fresh. And this is our orgeat. It's a miso almond orgeat. Basically, uh, we press our own almonds and then uh, we add like a 4% solution of uh, miso, shiro miso. Just gives it a nice savoriness um, and a little bit of salinity to like balance the whole thing. Two and a half ounces of this, but yeah, it's got five different rums. Let's get this in there. Mai Tai rum blend. Obviously, using using our crushed ice here. People think that the crushed ice is going to like over dilute the drink, and basically what it does is just like dilutes it really fast and gets it cold really fast, and then it stays cold and that kind of thing. Sometimes our ice machine goes down, we go directly to Sonic and buy the ice from there. We use a ton of mint here, like I was saying, we do about five pounds a day, ten pounds on the weekend. But you want that nice um, aromatic from this the accoutrements, hay straws, and our own swizzles that we do here. And then the mint and the lime hole, they kind of represent like a lime and an island full of palm trees, basically. And then we've got a little, nice little orchid to get us going. And then we also do a little bit of a orange express right on top. So you get kind of a three kind of tiered um, experience as far as um, Aroma. aromas yeah, go. Wow. So yeah, you've got your lime going off of there. And that's why we don't mix the lime in the drink. And we want to keep those uh, lime oils intact so you can smell them rather than taste them because we get most of our taste through our smell anyway. So totally. that's one of those things. So you get the lime, the orange, and the mint whole like kind of bouquet as far as uh, aromatics go. But yeah, here's oh this my time for you. 
man, it's just like perfectly exotic. Absolutely delicious. There's nothing out of balance here. The miso there is just perfect. All of the muds except for this seahorse are kind of like our own design. Tony Canepa, we work with him really closely. I've designed one of these mugs. Um, Which one? <laughs> uh, this little guy right here. He's wow. <laughs> kind of <laughs> maybe our little flagship guy. The slurping bastard's having his ramen noodles here at the Tiki Bar, which is so cool and uh, so on point for this concept. We're tr also trying not to be like too on the nose with the tiki idols, things like that as well. So we're doing more things like that have to do with pop culture or just like escaping on this island more than anything like that. Thank you so much for inviting us into Tiki Tatsuya. For folks at home, it's gonna be a joy to, to check this out. We look forward to coming back. Yeah, happy having you, man. <laughs>